Hello, our names are Ida and Alma and our topic is child labor. Putting young children to work is called child labor. About 152 million children are trapped in child labor and more than 22,000 children are killed at work every year. 17.2% of the kids are working in services, 11.9% in industries, and 70.9% in agricultures. Work is usually very hard and unhealthy, and the kids are very less paid. Most of these kids never been to school. But how can I help? So we had a little interview with an assistant from an organization called Brot für die Welt, and maybe she has an answer. Could you first please introduce yourself and say what you're doing in your job? Okay, hello everyone, my name is Christina and I've been working for Brot für die Welt since 2017 um, here in Bremen. And before that, I extensively traveled and also worked in the Global South. And that comes in really handy because um, what I'm doing here is I'm raising awareness about um, the issues that affect all of us globally. So not only the things that happen in the Global South, but also the things that happen in the Global North that affect the global system. And that includes hosting workshops or um, giving presentations, for example. Which countries are most supported by Brot für die Welt? So generally we support projects um, that in, in our case that means uh, project partners across Europe, Asia, Africa and South America. And overall most of our projects are um, on the African continent. Um, currently those are I think 242 um, projects that are being supported in Africa right now. Okay. Um, did you ever travel to one of these countries? So as I said earlier, before working for Board für die Welt, I um, extensively traveled in Asia, Africa, and also Middle America. And I also used to work in Africa, specifically in Uganda and Namibia. And at the time, those were projects in um, the field of higher education that was in Uganda and in human rights, which was in, uh, in Windhoek in Namibia. Okay, interesting. What are your experience with child labor? So when I was 16, I went on a school exchange program to India. And um, what I experienced there really stuck with me because what I saw was that people my age and even a lot younger um, were mostly out of school and a lot of them were working um, on the streets that might have been cleaning shoes that might have been cleaning cars when they had to stop at a red light things like that and and that really touched me and so for me it is it is great that today i have a job in which i get to advocate for the rights of children globally and everywhere um, and just two years ago we launched a big um, campaign with Board for the Welt um, against child labor, which is called 100 million. And that's been really successful and it's been really, really great having the opportunity to work in such an environment. Yeah, okay. That's very hard. And how does Board for the Welt help? So the thing is, there isn't a one size fits all solution to ending child labor. Um, usually what happens is that a family is stuck in a cycle of poverty and that's why they have to send their children to work. What we experience is that families don't usually want their children to work in the fields or clean shoes or or do things like or work in factories, whatever. Um, usually they would rather have their children go to school, but they can't afford that. Um, usually there's more than one child in the family and that costs a lot of money. And um, the, the parents rely on the income that their children provide. So what we as Brot für die Welt do is we support projects that help the families out of poverty. So we help them gain valuable skills um, for them in order to, to earn an income. Um, so for example, they will have workshops in sustainable agriculture, making them able to sell their produce, or they will um, have uh, workshops in how to build their own business, um, small business models. Um, and all that will lead to them having more money available and thus not having to send their children to work. So that is one of the solutions um, which which we take 
uh, on as an approach. But um, obviously, um, another solution would be to advocate for children's rights um, and against child labor here in the global north. Um, to advocate for fair prices for the products that we get from the global south, things like that. Okay. Oh. Um, and how can Germany help? So that is a very big question, but I'm going to give you a very simple answer because there's one thing that all of us can do um, when we go shopping, for example, when we go shopping for, say, flowers or say a new T-shirt or say coffee, whatever. Um, we can all check the labels, okay? And if you have a label that says fair trade, it usually means that people get paid a fair price for their work and that no child labor is involved. And that's a very, very small thing that all of us can do. And it has an immense impact on the people in the global south. Okay, then thank you for the interview. It was very interesting. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much, you two. It was a pleasure to talk to you. You can go donate for the kids at www.brotfordiewelt.de.